Hey everybody, today Rado previews a prototype of Hippocrates, but before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, well then welcome to Ancient Greece, where there is a whole bunch of people who are lining up around the block waiting to get the medical services of Hippocrates and his students. And those students are us. We are aspiring physicians trying to cure as many folks as possible by using this newfangled invention called medicine, uh, thanks to our teacher Hippocrates. And whoever can score the most points will become the successor to Hippocrates, and that's what it's going to be all about today. Now, everybody starts with one of each of the three types of medicine, blue, green, and purple. Everybody starts with six drachmas. And um, we also have one um, fellow physician working for us. This doctor is mine, and he's a pretty good doc because he can work in the green, the blue, or the purple medicine, which means he can work with purple medicine or green, or which of course doesn't show up on my green screen, ha ha ha, or green, or blue. And now I should say, but go before I go any farther, bear in mind, folks, everything you're seeing today is a prototype. As I understand it, the, you'll notice the different medicine bottles have different shapes. These um, medicine bottle meeples will have the shapes that match the, uh, the icons. So even if you have colorblind issues, you will be able to make out what is what. But like I said, everything today is prototype, which is why I've written on the board in a few places and stuff like that. So anyway, I've got my one doctor ready to do good work. I've got some medicine, I've got some money, and I have three um, competitors, three physicians who are going to be vying to heal people alongside me. Because no matter how many players you play, there are always going to be four doctors active. And in this run through today, I'm actually going to be playing solo. But it's still going to feel very much uh, like I'm playing a higher player count game because these um, opponent doctors who are competing for the eye of Hippocrates and uh, you know the favor of Hippocrates are going to be snagging stuff just like real human players would. So. Otherwise, I got the game set up. These are a whole bunch of folks. We all have our starting stuff. And um, I am the first player. I am the yellow player. So, how does it work? Well, over four rounds, uh, each round is divided basically into two halves. The first half, we're going to roll these dice. And these represent assistants who will tell us which of these patients we can bring into our, um, you know, into our neck of the woods to try to save. Alrighty, so... As you can see, uh, this uh, assistant, the purple assistant, or I'm sorry, oops, yeah, oops, this is the red and this is the purple. Like I said, folks, everything you're seeing today here is prototype. The red and the purple are pretty close in this, uh, in, in my lighting here, but I'm sure all this stuff will work out. If you want, you can hit that eye up in the, oh, where is it? Up in the top right corner of the screen to go look to see what the real components are going to look like. But anyway, so the red assistant said, hey, treat this person. The purple assistant said, treat this person. The blue assistant said, treat this person. Um, and make the other people wait. And so, what are we going to do? We're going to listen to the assistance of Hippocrates. I'm the first player. I can um, say I'm going to heal this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, or that person. And i got to pick one of them. So let's look a little bit closer and decide who I want. I'm kind of, kind of eyeballing Hanno here. Uh, because Hanno, uh, well, first of all, will pay me five bucks just to uh, be seen. Uh, you know, everybody's ready to pay some money to get the services because we're not working for free here. And if I do cure Hanno, I will score three points. And Hanno needs two blue and one green medicine. I already have one blue and one green, so I'm almost there. But I would need one more blue. But here's the interesting thing. In addition to getting five bucks to cure Hanno, for drafting uh, the... Uh, patient that's in this slot, I will get two additional blue medicine. So I will have all the medicine I need to cure Hanno right out of the gate. So that makes Hanno pretty attractive. Uh, what's this one here? Uh, Les Machos over here. Well, they need three blue and a purple. Now, if I try to cure them, well, they're going to pay me four bucks. They're worth five points if I cure them. But what will I get? I'll get one extra victory point for curing them, and my reputation will increase by one. Now, if I come over here to Hanno, my reputation is actually going to drop by one uh, for treating Hanno, but I will get that extra medicine I need. So this is a nice combo right there. Let's see. Let's look at the other ones. Uh, this one, I'll get three extra bucks if I say I'm going to try and treat Turdad. But I won't be getting any extra medicine. I get two purples, which um, Dinia doesn't even need. Dinia doesn't need purple. Uh, she needs blue and green as well. And let's see. Ha uh, 
Hankus over here needs a little bit of everything. All three types of medicine. And But I'll, my uh, reputation will increase by two if I try to cure her. And then Callisto over here. Well, I would get two green, but I only need one and I have one. So yeah, I think all eyes point to Hano. Let's go on ahead and take my marker and occupy this column. Now this is a worker placement style action. Because I have activated this column, none of my opponents can grab anybody else from this column. At least not without doing some extra special powers and whatnot. So I say, I'm coming to this column, and I am going to save the life of Hanno here. Which means I am, for my troubles, going to get two more blue medicine that I've got on hand. Hoorah. And I put them over here in my waiting room. Now, I will not actually get the five bucks right now. Not until after we are done with the first half of the round. Because ultimately, you can see, I've got space for one, two, three patients. Once I have gotten, once we've gone through three rounds of this draft, then my patients will pay me. And it's important because, I mean, some patients, I, I actually, to try to cure um, this one here, I have no idea, how do you pronounce that? Uh, uh, Chepren? Uh, Chepren? over here, I would actually need to pay four coins to try to save Chevron. But my uh, my uh, prestige would increase by four. And you know, it could be that I don't have enough money to uh, get Chevron, which is why when you bring them in, they don't give you the money immediately. Not until after we close our doors and move on to the next phase do we actually get paid. So anyway, so that was mine. Now, my three opponents are going to grab patients as well, but nobody can grab another patient from this column. All right, and uh, now if it were a human player, if Blue were actually my wife, Jen, she might choose, well, I don't know, uh, you know, again, she could choose any of these other ones, but the automated players, they choose very simply. They look at all of the patients that could be grabbed, and they grab the one with the highest number. And right over here, Callisto is sitting with a big 68. So I think that beats the 33, the 6, the 15, and the 48. So the second player, Blue, is going to come all the way over here and grab Callisto. Now, I am playing against automated players. And automated players don't care about getting medicine, but they do care about their reputation. And if you're playing solo like I am today, they also um, potentially score points. But they don't keep track of money or medicine and all of that. So anyway, oh, by the way, I forgot, folks. Um, when I grabbed Hano, I did get my two victory point or my two extra medicine, but I did not drop my reputation by one. And I have to do that. So I should say, folks, this board is huge. So huge I can't fit on one screen. I'm going to go on ahead and slide it down so you can see up here at the top, there is a little marker that keeps track of our reputation. I have the lowest reputation right now. And when I recruited Hano, my reputation dropped by one. And the worse my reputation is, the more it's going to hurt me later on. But anyway, so I'm just showing I did that. Now, the blue player, their reputation dropped by one as well. Okay, and, and I'll keep on updating those, but you don't need to see me moving them. You'll see that again in the second half of the round when I have to show you all of the stuff that happens up on the top end of the board. But right now, that's when we go and hang out amongst our physicians. Right now, at the beginning of the round, we're mingling amongst the common folk trying to decide who we are going to try to save. So anyway, Blue took this one, and um, their reputation drops by one, which I just went on ahead and marked up there. And, uh, again, they don't bother keeping track of their medicine or whatnot. But they did immediately score six points. They're so good, one, two, three, four, five, six, that they just automatically save people. So as you can see, six is on the board with six points. I still got to do the work myself, which means uh, to get my three points, I actually have to collect the medicine and collect it and uh, apply it through uh, my uh, fellow doctors. But the automated players, they just draft stuff, immediately score points, and immediately gain or lose reputation. So they're very easy to keep track of. So that was it. Now, green is up next, and green says, well, hey, there's a 33, there's a 6, a 15, and a 48. Green will go on ahead and take this one. And um, green actually raises their reputation by one and uh, gets one point plus five. So green is up to six victory points as well. And now um, red says, let's see, a 15, a six, and a 33. Red will take this one. Their reputation increases by two. They are the most reputable doctor. We'll see that later. And they score five points. For them, it's just, they just make it look so easy. They just instantly cure people. All right. So that was the first of three rounds of drafting. Now we take the dice, we re-roll them, and the assistants of Hippocrates go out and try to figure out who should be saved next. 
true random die rolls. All righty. So there's a red and and you will see over here, hey, this assistant says, well, you can't, there, there's nobody here. But instead, if I decide to come to this slot, even though there's no patient to get, uh, instead of getting a patient, I can make four drachmas. Um, and I am going to need this money to pay the salary of my existing doctor, plus pay the, to hire more doctors. So I could come over here just to make some money, instead of coming over here to get this patient, this patient, this patient, this patient, or this patient. Oh, by the way, folks, I forgot one more thing. And this is why you always watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on, right? Um, whenever you recruit a a patient, a player recruits a patient in columns two, four, or six, you'll notice there's these little icons down here. As a bonus for recruiting in these columns, you get a personal assistant. These dice represent the assistants of Hippocrates who are picking the patients for us, but I am going to go on ahead and grab this blue assistant, the left-right assistant. Alrighty, the traveling assistant it's called. So now, in addition to my six drachmas, I've got one assistant on hand. Alrighty, and I've got a bunch of medicine. And now, I'm going to go through the second round. Um, although, I won't write yet because you will notice the turn order has changed because green came all the way over here. Green is going to be the first player to uh, recruit a second patient. And so there's a 47, a 10, a 19, a 28, and a 29. So green says, hey, I'm coming over here and grabbing this patient. Their um, reputation drops by two and uh, they score three points. One, two, three. Good for you, green. Alrighty. I, some of us have to work for a living over here. So that's green. Now it is my turn. I cannot take anything from this column because green beat me. If I want to get first dibs on the third round of drafting patients, I should come over here and, well, take four drachmas, which would be nice. That's not bad. If I take on too many patients and I can't cure them, they will die. So, I mean, I don't necessarily need to be too ambitious, and getting four drachmas would be nice. By the way, you will notice, here's another um, element of the uh, prototype. Things are being tweaked and adjusted and playtested right now. It used to be, no matter what slot you took them from, you would get three drachmas, but now, if you, get, if you make money off of the odd columns, one, three, and five, you get four drachmas. If you make money off the even columns, you only get two drachmas, because that's also where you get the freebie assistant. And remember, I grabbed an assistant last turn. So, do I just want to make some money, or do I want to heal uh, uh, Tomahan, which will make my, uh, what do you call it, my reputation drop again, but hey, I'll get a lot of money for taking on Tomahan, and I need three purples and a green. Which means, in my third draft, I might want to come over to this column, because as you can see, if I draft somebody from this column, I get one, two, or three purples. Although, again, my reputation drops. So, there's kind of combo stuff going on here. Do I want to get Tom in to make five bucks, and um, but then I will have somebody's life on. Plus, an additional four. I'll make nine, or I can just come over here, not take on the extra responsibility of saving another person, and just make a quick four. But let's see, I could also get Dinah, who will give me two purples. My rep will drop by one. Dinah needs blue. Now, interestingly, I have three blue, but... My assistant here, which is the blue assistant, if I ever want, I can convert them into blue medicine. So it's like I've got four blue, which means I'd have the two blue I need for Dinah plus the two blue I need for Hanno, because I already have three blue, plus this assistant. Now this assistant can also be used to give me two bucks if I'm ever low on cash. But the main use of this assistant is actually, you will notice, they've got this little left and right arrow. That means if I said, hey, I'm going to come over here, which means I'll, be, I'll get first dibs in the third round of drafting, and I don't want this space, I could use this traveling assistant to say, hey, die, why don't you move someplace else so I can activate that column instead? So you can actually use your assistants that you collect to move dice around. You can even, if I've got multiple assistants, I could use one assistant to move over, and then I could use another assistant to move up if I need to. But remember, assistants are also handy because they are an extra two bucks or an extra medicine if you need them. So, do I... Let's see. Oh, and I, I can't get Dino right now. I could get Yetis down here, who needs two green and would give me three purple. So that's the thing. Do I think if I get Yetis, I could get um, the this one in the third round? Well, there's another reason to take Yetis. Because this is in column four, I will get another assistant. I'll get the... Uh, Oh, the sympathetic assistant, I think they're called. Because this assistant lets me say, hey, I don't want this one. I want this one up here. And I can move back and forth. So that's pretty interesting. Although, my reputation will drop by two. And the lower my reputation goes, the more expensive it is for me to hire additional um, doctors. Plus, the harder it is for me to get the higher the additional doctors that I want. 
But hey, that's three purple. And they'll pay me six bucks. That's not bad. But hey, this it's nine bucks, and I only drop by one if I go for Tamanin. But anyway, so we've also got um, uh, Aemon Toss. I'll lose two rep. I'll get three green, and this guy needs two blue and a purple. Hmm. You know what? I think I like this one. I like money. All right, let's just come over here. I'm going to jump over here. Although, because I'm going into an odd number, that means I'm not going to get another assistant. If I come over here and recruit this one or this one, or you know, offer to rescue that one or that one, I will get more assistance. So it's like I'm getting two extra bucks. Which means, uh, but I'm also going later in turn order for the third round. But I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go on ahead and get Yetis. Although remember, if I didn't want Yetis, I could use my assistant to say, Hey, die. Move over here so I could get um, you know this person instead if I wanted. But anyway, no, I'm going to take Yetis. This is my second one. I'm going to need to get some green medicine. Yetis is going to pay me six bucks. And in the meantime, I get three purple medicine right now. And my reputation drops by two more. Oh, I am the worst doctor in ancient Greece. Uh, nobody likes me. All right, so that was it. Now, Red says, hey, I want the highest number. That's a 28, a 29, a 10. Right, so Red says, I'll take number 29. My rep will drop by two. And um, I will get four points. One, two, three, four. I'll get points as well. Don't worry. All right. And then blue says, hey, this is a 28. This is a, a 10. All right. So blue says, I'll come over here. And uh, my rep will increase by three. One, two, three. And you'll see how all that plays out in the second half of the round. And I get five points. One, two, three, four, five. All right. There we go. Boom. All right, and by the way, if you were it's only if you're playing solo that you keep score for these, because I've got to beat these doctors. If I was playing a two-player game where I was the yellow and Jen was blue, red and green would still be grabbing doctors and taking stuff and and you know manipulating player order, but we wouldn't bother keeping track of their score because I'd be trying to play against the human players. But since I'm playing solo, I got to beat all of them, and I'm losing big time it's currently. Anyway, so uh, that was it. That was the second round. And now we roll the dice one last time. And let's see, black is over there. All right, a blue one, green six. And you can see the options are um, drying up quickly. That's red two and purple three. And, okay, green is first. And green says, oh, here's a 22. And that's it. This is the only uh, patient left. So green will take 22. Uh, we'll drop two in reputation. And a human player would as well. And um, we'll immediately score five points. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. And all right. So where was it? It was right over here. So that was that. And now this is my last one. I would like to get another assistant. And now I cannot get the blue assistant again. But uh, so if I would ideally like to come here or here, but here's the problem. If I come to either of these spots, well, I will still get the assistant and I'll get two drachmas, but I will not get a third patient. So do I want to do that? Um, or, well, actually, oh, yeah, literally, um, all of the assistants, uh, Rock says, yeah, forget about all these other patients. We don't care about them. So if I want to get a third patient, I am going to have to use my current blue assistant. Um, because then I could say, come over here. And then I could say, hey, you, blue, move over here. So I could get that. And, you know, that's interesting. Because remember, I got all those purple medicine. And this person wants purple medicine. But they also need green medicine. And actually, both of my other patients need... Right now, I need three green medicine to cure the two patients I've got. If I take this one on, I'm going to need another green medicine. And I've only got one green medicine. So that's a problem. But on the flip side, I do have all the purple medicine this person needs. And I have all the blue medicine they need. So strictly speaking, I should... Um, oh, and also, by the way, if I choose to say, come over here and get, you know... Well, okay, no. I wouldn't want to come here because I already have that assistant. If I choose to come over here and get four drachmas, I get the drachmas, but I do not get the bonus. You only get these bonuses if you get a patient. So I could get some more money. If I came over here... I would get two drachmas, but I would also get this assistant, but I would not get the medicine or the reputation change. So what do I want to do? Go big or go home, I say. I am here to save people after all, right? Let's jump to the front of the queue, and instead of taking four drachmas, let's use my handy-dandy assistant to go sideways and boop -a -dee boop -a -dee boop and come over here and say, don't worry, Tomahan, 
I got your back. I got the purple you need. And my reputation drops by one again. But I get five drachmas. And money is everything in this game. All right. And this person is going to pay me four more drachmas before the round is out. All right. So that was it. And now Blue says hi. Oh, there's no patience. Well, um, if the auto players do not have any patience to take, they will just go as far left as they can. And that's it. And so um, there we go. Because, you know, so sometimes they don't get patience at all. They don't keep track of money or anything else other than reputation and points. And that's it. We have finished the first phase of the first round, the welcoming phase, where I have got three patients who are now, at the long last, going to pay me six plus five plus four. I am going to make 15 extra drachmas, which means... I'm going to spend this money pretty big. Now, I'm gambling big, but I've got money, so hopefully that'll pay off. I need more green medicine. And in fact, if you want, Jen, I found we tend to just go on ahead and pre-assign all the medicine to our patients just so we know what we've got and what we don't have. You don't have to do this. I mean, officially, you do this later in the round. All right, and so... All right, so I've got this one extra blue, but I need one, two, three, four green. So I've got these medicine that won't do me any good. So these people, this person's already got all the medicine they need, but they need a doctor to apply this medicine. Again, you keep this officially, you keep this off to the side. We just like to do this for record keeping purposes. Okay, so we have finished the uh, welcoming phase. Now we got to pay. And I have one doctor on staff. And so I have to pay, well, it's based on my reputation. Let's go on ahead and take a quick look. After we were done with all that recruiting, how did the reputation work out? As you can see, I am the most disreputable doctor in ancient Greece. And in fact, if I had gone one more space over, I would have crossed this line and I'd have to pay four bucks to keep doctors working for me. But I stayed just on the positive side, so I have to pay three drachmas um, to keep doctors. Now, if I could be really reputable, blah, 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 I might only have to pay two drachmas or even only one drachma if I were reputable. But I'm kind of a... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not the most reputable doctor. So I have to pay three for my one on-staff doctor that I've got right now. But that's okay. Because I got loads of cash. One, two, three. Because all these patients I took on. So that's pretty quick and easy. Pay your doctors. Now, this one doctor is not going to be able to cure all three of these people. He's going to need help. And that's where we go on to the next step, the recruitment phase, where we are going to hire new doctors. And now it's at this point that i got to slide stuff on down again so that you can see the potential doctors we're going to hire. Plus, you need to see what our reputation is at. Now, there's actually more. You can see I've got to slide even further, but then... I've literally taken half the board off my table, so I'm not going to slide that far. But you can see those four doctors at the top. Those are doctors who are on the outs. Uh, as part of setup, four of them are set up uh, to be almost about to leave because they can't find work. So, But to make it a little bit easier to see them, rather than being all the way up there at the top, I'm going to put them down here in this kind of forum area so I can still reach them. All right, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. So... These four doctors are about to go, and we are about to find six new doctors that will show up. But we don't know yet which doctors are going to appear. We do know this doctor can um, apply green medicine. And we know this doctor can apply green and purple. But not until a little bit will we find out exactly what type or how effective they are at applying those combinations of medicine. Right now... Every player, every human player, has one of these tokens. And we can use these tokens to reserve one of these four doctors who have one foot out the door. At the end of the round, any of these doctors who are not recruited, they are out of the game. So, this is my shot right now to put two bucks down and say, Hey, Hamilcar, stick around. I'll hire you later. Don't leave yet. Okay. And also, this is where my terrible reputation is going to come back to haunt me. Because whoever is the most reputable doctor, they get first dibs. They get first dibs on everything. Nobody wants to come and work for me. Not if they can work for red or blue or green, who are able to stay a little bit more pristine based on the uh, types of folks that they decided to heal. But anyway, so red is going to take first dibs at these. And like the patients, you can see there are priority numbers. So red says, hey, 
I'm grabbing Tedros. They don't even bother putting down the reserve thing. Tedros is out. Um, it's just out of the game. Kept for me. Then blue and then green go, which says goodbye to uh, Merzad and goodbye to Hamilcar. And now, little old me, down at the bottom of the pecking order, if I want, I can um, reserve uh, Callens. Because, and if I don't, he's going to be gone. This is my one chance. Now, I have to pay two bucks immediately. And here's the tricky thing. If we look a bit more closely at Callens, Callens is a doctor who can um, treat patients who need purple and blue. And you can see, he can do it twice before he retires. Now, i got to ask myself, do any of my patients need his services? I've got a double green, a green and purple, and a blue and green. Not a blue and purple. So I could go on ahead and reserve uh, Callings here, but I don't want him. Now here's the thing. This is, uh, you know, he came, let's see, he's blue and purple, right? So he came from this stack. This doctor, who can also cure blue and purple, might be a better fit for me. But I don't know who this doctor is yet. So if I did want a blue and purple doctor, I might go on ahead and reserve this now, because who knows if I'll be able to get this one. Or who knows if I can afford this one. But as it happens, I don't need blue-purple, so I'm going to pass on that. Um, if I did want to, I'd pay two now, and I'd pay the other four later. Because ultimately, I need to pay a full six to recruit this guy. But I am just going to let it go, because I don't need his services. Okay, so we're done with that. Now, uh, that means nobody reserved him, so he is going to be gone at the end of the round. But we continue on, and we now reveal who the new doctors are that we can recruit. Okay. And I should say, by the way, these different columns that have different colors, they represent different regions in ancient Greece that all these doctors come from, actually. Alrighty. But um, everybody in this column is in this column is going to be able to treat blue purple. And it's just a question of this one, who this guy who uh, costs seven bucks and will give me seven points when he retires, he can treat people twice. And if we look at the other ones, this one can treat three times. This one can only treat once, and then they'll retire. But hey, they only cost four to recruit. And this one is like the other one uh, can treat... Oh, this one can treat three times. Alrighty. So anyway, so I think... Was it this one that was on top? Oh, I don't remember. Let's just go on ahead and shuffle them up again a little bit. Alright, so there... There we go. We have this one on top. Okay. And now, the turn order continues to be the bane of my existence because I continue to be at the bottom of the pecking order. Um, so red and then blue and then green and then yellow are going to take some of these doctors. And I am hoping, hoping I can get a doctor who can treat um, green and purple or green and blue. So what does that mean? I want this one for the green and purple because uh, this patient over here Oh, where'd my, where'd my other patients go? This patient over here needs green and purple treatment. This one needs green and blue treatment. This one just needs green treatment. So uh, my, my starting doctor could handle that one, no problem. So I am hoping to be able to uh, get that one, the uh, green purple. But it's not up to me. It's up to my opponents because I'm at the bottom of the totem pole. Red takes whatever they want. And again, looking at priorities, they take green and purple. The one I wanted, and this is the problem. Having a bad reputation can make it tough to get the doctor you want. So this doctor is Gonsville. And now, if I had actually managed to recruit this doctor, and then they had treated three different patients, they'd retire and I would get seven points. Um, my automated opponents, they don't get seven points for recruiting. They just, because there's one, two, three treatments, it gets three points off of this. So who was it? Red just scored one, two, three more points. Man. And I have yet to score anything. So red took one. Then blue says, hey, I want the next highest. Uh, blue says, I'll take this one. And this one can uh, heal two. So blue just scored two points. Okay. And then green says, hey, next one. Oh, I'll take uh, this one. And green gets one point for recruiting a mago. So uh, what was it? This was green who goes up one. All righty. And now finally, finally... I get my shot at a doctor of my very own. And uh, who is still around? Uh, oh, what's her name? Uh, Sharar, I guess? And Ogbagzi? 
And uh, yeah, uh, apologies to anybody who speaks ancient Greek. I know I'm butchering all of these uh, quite badly. But okay, so I can recruit any of these. And hey, there is the blue green I wanted. And remember, this patient over here, good old Hanno, wants some blue green treatment. So that's probably who I want to recruit. So um, it's going to cost me six bucks to recruit him. And once he has treated two different patients, he'll retire and I'll get four points. Now, I have a choice though. You will notice, like down below with the uh, patients, there are all these different columns that represent different regions, Carthage and, and, and whatnot. Uh, these symbols represent the different regions as well. I can recruit him. Or instead, I could pay 12 bucks and get medicine. One blue, two purple, and two green. Or if I pay 18, 6 plus 12, I'll get the doctor. I will get the, uh, oh, what do you call it? The, I can't think of the word, the medicine. And because I got them in a bundle deal, I will get some extra knowledge. I will get this token, which basically is an extra doctor who can treat anyone and who will score me one victory point. So that's very nice. Now, how much money do I have? I made a lot of money because I, were, I got so many patients. I have 23 drachmas. So I can afford to get both of these. Now, because somebody's taken from this column, I could not take this medicine, nor could I take this medicine. Um, but I could take this doctor, this medicine, or both. This doctor, this medicine, or both. This doctor, this medicine, or both. And remember, if you take both, you get the bonus as well. Two extra um, purple, or two extra blue. An extra doctor. Uh, this one says, whenever, or the next time I try to get blue patients, is that blue? Or is, no, that's black. Um, patients from this area, I make extra money off of them. They pay me more money than normal to recruit them. And let's see, oh, this one says, whenever I recruit from the uh, first column, instead of getting one point and one reputation for recruiting, oh, let's see, where was it? These patients over here, I get two and two. So that's a little bit of an upgrade up there. But again, I can't take this one because this doctor's already gone, so I can't get that medicine. This is the one I want. I am going to pay through the nose. I'm going to pay 6 plus 12 is 18. Here goes 20. I get 2 and change. And I now have a second doctor. And I get 1 green, 1 purple, and... Or, I'm sorry. What is this? This is um, 1 green, 2 purple, and 2 blue. Green, two, a purple, and two blue. So I've got even more medicine, which is unfortunate. I What I needed was more green. So really, I wanted this medicine bottle. And I could have gotten that medicine bottle, because remember, I need a total of one, two, three, four green, and I only have one. Now I've got two. Um, but... I, you know, I couldn't have gotten this medicine that had three green or this one. I would have wanted that medicine or that medicine to get all the green I need. But that was not available to me because other players drafted from those spots first. So I missed the window on those. But I will go on ahead and take this. So I've got a bunch of medicine. And hey, there's uh, three more rounds. So I'm going to need all this medicine eventually. And so that's gone. And I've got this extra knowledge. Alrighty, which is I have three doctors. Although this one is only going to heal one person and then they're going to retire. So I've got them you know, with one foot out the door. So that was it. Uh, during the doctor recruitment, everybody gets one shot. Once a column has been activated, nobody else can go to that column. If, if I took this doctor, you couldn't get that medicine. If you get both the doctor and the medicine from a column, then boom, happy days, you get a bonus as well. Okay, so that was recruitment. And now we get to the most important part. We actually treat our patients. That is what we're here to do. Let's not forget. So uh, let's go ahead and rearrange things and uh, treat our patients. As you can see, I have three doctors. I have three patients. I have a bunch of medicine. Let's see. So basically, I've got enough medicine to completely heal this person and this person. This person needs two green. I do not have any more green. So poor Yetis here is going to have to wait. They're going to go from my waiting room into my emergency room at the end of the round. But in the meantime, let's come over here and treat these folks, shall we? And let's go on ahead and zoom in on um, my uh, my operation area. Okay, so as you can see, uh, you know my starting doctor. I could treat a purple patient, a green patient, a blue patient. My new one is a blue green, and I could do that twice. And then I've got this other one who can treat anything, any combination of stuff. 
Now this per person needs blue-green. I've already assigned the medicine, but I have to have a doctor to administer the medicine. So how about I take good old uh, Sharar here, and I go like this. And what I've done is, uh, Sharar, who is capable of administering blue and green, will administer two blue and a green, and cure Hano. Hooray! Hano is cured, and I'm going to score three points. Now, as it happens, um, you know, and instead of using Sharar, I could have, say, used my starting guy, and I could have gone like this, and plugged in the green, but then that means all that doctor could do would be to apply the green. And I would need to have some other doctor come along over here, and the two doctors working together could apply, this one would apply the blue, this one would apply the green, as an example. Although this is a super doctor who can apply everything, because they're about to retire, because they're really, well, knowledgeable. But anyway, so, let's go like this, let's do this. And um, you, I have cured Hanno. Now, you have to cure a patient completely. I can't say, oh, I'm just going to do the blue now, and I'll do the green later. You have to be able to do it all at once. And I have. So Hanno is cured, and this doctor is halfway towards retirement. And I've still got two more doctors. Now, here's an interesting thing, uh, is puzzling all this stuff together. I need somebody who can apply um, purple and green. And this guy, he can apply everything. And he's a one-time thing. He could just say, hey, I'm going to apply the purple and the green, and boom, he's done. But if I want to get a little trickier, I could go like this and say, hey, how about you come over here and um, ha you apply the purple. See, this doctor can apply... Or I'm sorry, no, apply the green. Because this doc can work in green and uh, blue medicine. So you, apply the green. Great. He still needs purple. And then my starting doctor over here could come to the other side. Because remember, he has a purple... Uh, one opportunity to, uh, to treat purple, blue, and green can come over here and do the purple. And in this way, I have had two doctors working together to try to save this person. And an interesting thing has happened. This doctor is ready to retire now because they were only ever going to treat two more patients and then they were gone and I get four points. And what that means is if this doctor retires, I don't have to pay their salary anymore. Because if they don't, if I go like this and just have this person, this super doctor, cure him, then what I'm going to have is, this is the only doctor gone, I'm going to have two doctors sitting around, and I will have to pay both of their salaries next turn. And remember, I'm such a disreputable um, employer that I'm already having to pay three. I might even have to pay four for each of these. So rather than go for the peak efficiency, hey, this person uh, heals this one all by itself, and this person only heals one, I'm going to save this doctor, this super doctor, for later. I'm going to have Sharar apply the green and I will have Axel Lakshakal apply the purple and now that means I have him retiring. I still have him. So still, I'm going to have to pay the salary of two doctors, but this doctor is really cool because, I mean, this doctor is very specialized. Really only good if I'm doing um, ideal, if I'm doing green plus blue. This one can treat anybody, so I've got more flexibility, and so I'm happy to see Sharar go before I have to pay. Now, I could go one step further. If I really want to get aggressive, I could say, hey, you're not treating anybody. You come over here. And so you, do the green, you, do the purple, even though this guy could do it all himself. And now, I have only one doctor left. So I will not have to pay um, six, maybe eight drachmas next round in uh, in uh, salary for these ongoing employees. But no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put him to work. And that means I'm going to have to pay a lot of money in ongoing salary. But this guy is going to let me treat anyone, and this guy is going to be gone. So, how does this work? I've done it. I have successfully cured two people. I've still got one uh, patient up here who says, I need green medicine, please. And I'm like, dude, all I got is blue and purple. There's nothing I can do. Although, remember, oh no, I was going to say, remember, I did actually have more blue medicine, but I used this assistant up a while ago. And um, so, that was that. My treatment is done. And so I get to score sweet, sweet victory points. Um, this patient, return all that medicine. This patient scored me uh, four points. Hooray! And then I flip this to indicate they're treated. This patient scored me three points. So that's seven total between them. So hey, I'm up to seven. I'm catching up with all my opponents. And this doctor is now going to retire because he treated two more patients. So he flips as well, giving me four more points. 
One, two, three, four, and I'm in last place, but I'm only one point behind everybody else. Okay. And now here's the interesting thing. Um, if As you go over the course of the game, you might make big connected chains of doctors and patients who are collaborating to save people and all that. But uh, at the end of the round, you slough off excess stuff. I mean, uh, this doctor is gone and that's gone. This stays because it needs to remind you that this doctor is only going to treat a blue and a green patient and then he retires. And meanwhile, he hasn't treated anybody yet. So these are gone as well. Buh bye And so, here's my situation now. I can treat anybody with with uh, uh, De Demosthenes, but uh, this guy can only treat blue and green left. Okay, and that means I'm going to have to pay six, maybe eight, unless I get my reputation up. Oh, by the way, one other thing I forgot, folks. Before we actually went on to the treating, we were supposed to clean up up here, which I forgot to do. Let's just go on ahead and bring the board back so we can do some cleanup. Uh, first of all, um, if... You know, remember, these are the four doctors who are on their way out. If nobody had taken the rightmost doctor, if, if, this, if, if no one had taken this, it's automatically out. Uh, but no, somebody did take the rightmost doctor. So this one now slides over to be the rightmost doctor. And now these ones up here come on ahead and slide on over to be on their way out as well. And if you're in a situation where there aren't any, there's a pile of them over here. So we have four doctors who are on the way out. We will later on reveal who all these new doctors are. Also, all of these medicine, they're gone, 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 gone. So, um, but we do have new medicine coming. So we get to know what that is. New medicine. So we know that this doctor plus this medicine will get you, well, two extra blue. This doctor plus this medicine will get you another doctor. This doctor plus this medicine will get you um, bonuses when you recruit or when, when you uh, try to, uh, you know, heal certain patients. Um, and the same for this one. And, oh, this one. This, uh, you know, this doctor plus this medicine, if you get those in a bundle, you'll get an extra patient who you can cure with two blues and score a quick five points. So those are some different benefits you'll get later on. So, going into the round two, we know what medicine can be bought and how much it costs. We know what bonuses can be got, but we don't know what future doctors are coming. We just know these doctors are on the way out if we want to reserve them. And if we do pay for these doctors, they cannot come with bundles of medicine. But basically, every round, if you got the money, you get the chance to get one of these doctors and one of these doctors, plus some of this medicine, and the doctor plus the medicine gives you the bonus as well. But that's if you got a lot of money. How do you get a lot of money? By taking on a lot of patients. What happens if you take on a lot of patients and you don't cure them? Well, things start going worse. Poor old Yetis here has just gone to the emergency room. If I don't cure Yetis next round, they go to the afterlife, and I will lose three points for not having cured Yetis. But you know what? Hey, not everybody made it back in this time. Okay, so we have finished round one of four, and we are now on to the new round. So new patients show up, waiting to be cured. The uh, assistants of Hippocrates decide who gets the who gets priority treatment. Although, again, we can override that with our own assistance if we've got them. Doot, 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 doot. And, hey, what do you know? I'm the first player because I am furthest to the left. So I can get first dibs on any of these new patients. Now, remember, I have no green. I need two green to save this person. Plus, I need a doctor who can administer green. What do you know? My starter doctor could administer green, and so I might be heavily incentivized, you might imagine, to go on ahead to this column and get this or get this get this person, um, which means, hey, I'll get an assistant, and this person says, my reputation will drop again. I will keep on going. And if I drop one more time, I'm gonna have to start paying four bucks per, but I will get the two green I need to save Yetis. Because I get the medicine either during this recruitment phase or by buying it. And it costs a lot, whereas I could get it free down here. But that really restricts me. Plus, if I come all the way over here, I will get last dibs on the second round of drafting. So, is this who I want to get so I can get some green, so I can save Yetis with this doctor? But then this person needs green and purple, so I'll need to get some more green elsewhere. And my reputation will drop, so I have to start paying more in salaries. Hmm. I think so. I think so. Because, hey, okay, my reputation, boom, totally in the toilet now. I now have crossed that line. I gotta start paying four per. Um, but I do get two green. 
Hooray! I've got lots of other types of medicine, too. And um, at the end of the draft round, I will make five more bucks for having recruited this person. So that was it for me. And now Blue says, all right, what do we got? We got a 37, a 2, a 58, a 67. And all right, so Blue says, oh, 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 by the way, these should have all slid back up here. Blue says, I'm coming over here. I'm taking this. And I don't care about this, but I do care about getting four points. And what was this? This was Blue. So one, two, three, four. It's just too easy for them. Alrighty. And then Green says, hey, what was the next highest one? I think it was 37.58. So Green says, I'm coming here. Oh, my reputation drops by two. But it's still higher than my reputation. I'm still in the bottom of the barrel. And, oh my gosh. So you can see, this would have been a hard person to cure. And um, Green is going to get nine points for this. Boom, boom. They just pulled into the lead. Snag that. All right. And then Red says, 37.2. Nine, yeah, so Red says, oh, I'll jump to the front of the line, please, and take this one, which will increase my reputation by one again. They were already at the top. They're even more repu reputable now. And he gets one point for that and gets nine points for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, boom. All righty, and um, so that was the first round of drafting. I went from first to last in turn order. Then we roll again. And let's see, a purple one. Uh, one, and a green two, and a black six, and a red two. And then red says, who does red want? 24, 35, 63. Yep, 63. Red says, I'm going to come over here and take this. And red's reputation drops by one, but they don't care because they're still so well-loved. And they get three more points. One, two, three. And then green says, hi, 35, 24, 42. Green says, come over here, get number 42. Green drops by two. Oh my gosh, green is almost as disreputable as me now, which is kind of nice. It would be nice to be able to go ahead of somebody. I might want to draft to get my reputation up. If I draft this one, my reputation increases by four. Oh, by the way, I forgot. When I drafted over here, I forgot I got an assistant. That'll come in handy later. But anyway, so green, or who is this? This was uh, green gets three points. One, two, three, and drops that rep by two. And then blue says, hi, who you got for me? A 24, a 35, I think that's it. Versus 17. Oh, no. Oh, 52. Whoops. I'm sorry, I had that backwards. Now, I'm not going to worry about too much. Uh, I'm sure Paulo noted this was a 52. Anyway, so it's, I mean, all right. Um, all right, so I'm going to take this. And blue improves by two. Again, apologies, I did that slightly wrong. But that's why I watch the Klingon subtitles turned on, folks. Although sometimes I catch my goofs. And then sometimes I don't even bother to fix them. It's the dummy player. Alrighty, so they're not complaining. So they got one point for that and they got two rep. And now they left this to me. Who do I get? I can recruit from here. And hey, if I recruit from here, my reputation will drop two more. Oh my gosh. But I'll get three more green. And then I'll have enough medicine for just about anything for quite a while. Now, I should say, by the way, so I have this one. Remember, I already showed the other two uh, assistants that say, hey, if I come here, I can use an assistant to move vertically or horizontally if I've got those assistants. This assistant, which, by the way, could be traded in to get two gold or one green medicine. Otherwise, this assistant says, hey, I'll still act as this. So I'll get three medicine, I'll drop two, but I get to take this future so you can see, you can see the future uh, customers are coming, and patients. So I could go on ahead and use my assistant to get this one if this was the perfect one for me. It's not. Um, I would like to come over here to get another assistant, which is more money or more uh, potions. Plus, do I want this person at thirty-five? Um, let's see. Just needs a, all right. Uh, mm. This will get me one blue. The last thing I need is more blue. I need more blue medicine, like a hole in the head. And this person doesn't even want blue. And none of my other ones want... So this is where I want to come. Because this is a good patient. It's got purple and green. And uh, it'll pay me six bucks. My reputation won't tank for once. And I'll get a patient, but I don't like that bonus. I would like my reputation to climb, please, but I can't come here. If I came here and took this patient, I, my reputation would climb by four, and I would not be in last place on reputation. That would be very, very nice, but it's not to be. I could come over here, which means I'll be at the front of the pack, and this one just wants a lot of green. Yeah, let's go on ahead and do this one. So I'm going to try and save poor old Aridaios. Aridaios, who needs, again, more green. All of a sudden, I need green. I need a lot of green. Um, right, so this is my second one. And uh, my reputation increases by one. Hooray! And I get one point. Hooray! Okay, so that was the second round of drafting. And we roll, roll, roll them bones. Who do you want next, assistants? All right, you say come over there. And what do the rest of you say? Purple says come over there. Black says come over there. Green says there. 
Okay, so you were a three, and you were a three. And I get first dibs. Hooray! Okay. So now's my chance to jump over here and take this one. And I'm going to lose four bucks to get four rep. Oh, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to lose. And I need to have this money on hand. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to come here. So I'm going to get spend four of my last... I'm down to one drachma. All righty. But my reputation increases. One, two, three, four. Yes, I am not the worst doctor in Greece anymore. All right, and I didn't make any money. Because remember, if I'd gone to a place... Oh, and I didn't get another assistant here either because I went to an odd column. But my, my, my reputation is on the rise. It's basically gone back to where it started. All right, so that was it for me. Red says hi. One, 14. All right, so Red says I'll take this. And Red uh, drops their reputation by one. Uh, not so high in mind now, are you, Red? And gets three points. One, two, three. And then um, Green says, uh, oh, Green, this is the only other patient. So Green says, hi, I'll take this one and get one rep. Oh, they're trying to catch up with me. And one point. And three more points. One, two, three. Again, that's off screen. I know you can't see, but I am keeping track of it. Um, right. And then poor Blue, Blue gets no patience. Oh, why is this? Uh oh. Oh, this should be over here. Oh, shoot. I put two columns. All right. Oh, somebody wanted this one. Again, I did these. Ah. Drat. This was over here. Blue takes that one. It really should have been red because this was the highest number. But somehow I just accidentally put them in the wrong column. So blue will take this one, um, even though that's, again, totally out of order. But one, two, three, four, five points. And that's it. Okay. So there we go. So that was, again, three rounds of drafting. If I don't cure this person, they die and I lose three points. These ones I've got to work on. But we are done with the um, getting new patients. And now it is time to uh, start recruiting again. Or no, it's time to get money. I get seven plus five plus five. So I get 17 drachmas. I'm not quite as rich as I was last time. So I get all this cash money, and I got one assistant who I did not use, but that means I've effectively got two more or another green, which I think I'm going to need because I need a lot of green. Okay, so now i got to pay uh, my two doctors. I have increased my reputation. Hooray, as you can see, I'm back on the starting line, so I owe six drachmas for my two doctors. If I cannot afford to pay all my doctors, they leave. And I won't get points for having them retire. So you want to keep your doctors paid and happy. Okay, so that's that. And now, um, hey, Red says, I'm going to take first dibs. I will get rid of that one. And then Blue says, oh, I want the next highest number. I'll take care of that one. And hey, I have a choice. I have a choice. I'm not the worst doctor in Greece anymore. I could get ca I could reserve Callis by paying two up front, or I could reserve. Now here's an interesting thing. What might happen is I'm really desperate for Callis, but then um, when the other red gets revealed, you're like, oh, that one is so much better, and I could get this one instead. And you could take that one, and then you don't have to recruit Callis if a better option comes up. But you've still lost the two bucks that you put as a down payment. You don't get that back. So, all right, this person wants to cure a bunch of green. Everybody over here wants green. I think I am going to recruit him because, I mean, there are two people going ahead of me and they might recruit this and this before. I ha and I really want to be able to, rec to cure more green. So I'm going to go ahead and reserve you. And then green says, oh, well, I'll reserve that one then. Fine. Okay. Now, once again, we go on to the revelation of the new doctors in town. All righty. Bippity, flippity. Skippity, dippities, trippities, and flidippities. Okay. And are there too many in this? All right, there we go. Hold on a second. Oh, I see. Oh, there's one too many here. Uh, I set aside one wrong at the beginning of the game. There should have been out, and this should have been over here. I thought there was something wrong. All right, anyway. Just a dumb little setup goof. Don't worry about that, folks. All right, so these are the new doctors, and Red says, Hi. I want number 28. Bye-bye. And um, number 28 is a doctor who could cure two people. So red gets two points. And then blue says, I want number 27. And this doctor could cure three people. So blue gets three points. One, two, three. And again, this is only for solo that you bother keeping track for the automated players. And this time, I have four doctors to choose from. And... I've got, what have I got? I've got 12 bucks. Now, I've already put two down. So you better believe, let me go ahead and break this and get five ones. You better believe I'm going to pay one, two, three, four more. Oh, whoops. I had to put the two down on this originally. I, ha I had to be able to do that. And then here's the four more, which means I only have seven. I have seven drachmas plus 
I do have this, which could either be a green potion or two. So I could go up to nine. So do I want to recruit another doctor? Oh, I'm at nine. If I could, if I had one more coin, I would use it here and pay 10 and get more green medicine, which is what I really need. Uh, and here's the deal. I put two down on this. I've still got this money. I still have this money. And so, if I um, wanted, I could say, you know, I'm just going to buy this medicine instead, but then I've thrown that two away. Now, here's the interesting thing. One of the bonuses you can get if you buy a pair is more money. So it is possible that you could put money down here and then buy a pair that gets you enough money to get the other doctor. That is not happening right now. I did not make enough money this round to do that. So I need more doctors to cure, but I need more green medicine. But I think I am going to stick with my original investment. I committed to it up front. So I'm, all right, so I'm going to recruit you for six. And this is a bonus thing you can do on your turn. You can recruit whatever, and then you can pay the rest for the person you reserved. I will pay the six. I now have another doctor. And with, with um, seven, eight, nine left, I am not going to... Well, again... I could hire a doctor. I could hire this doctor. I could hire any of these doctors. I could afford four or six or seven. But I won't have the medicine for them to cure anybody. So I think I'm not going to spend anything. Well, actually, let's hold on a second. So I've got... Yeah, I think I think I'm just not going to do that. I am going to um, just keep the rest of my money so I have more going into the third round. So even though I had first dibs, I get nothing. And then um, finally Green comes along and says, Hey, I'll take this doc. Yeah, great. And that'll score me two points. All right, good for you, Green. You're in the lead. Alrighty, so that was that. Now, no docs are left down here. If the rightmost one was here, they'd be out. Um, but they're all gone. So now these three doctors that sadly nobody wanted go. Oh, four sad doctors. Nobody wanted them. And there's one more left over for a four. It is possible that there will not be four um, regionless doctors who are available to uh, you know put your money down on. But uh, this might be the last time that happens. And uh, nobody got any of these medicines, so they're all gone. And new ones will come out for next turn. Uh, bop. So you can see what's coming, and so you can do long-term planning if you need to draft to get that medicine with the patients, or if you just want to spend money to get the medicine because you can find the perfect bundle up there. But we do not know who these doctors are, nor will we until they are eventually revealed. So there's still a bit of unknown going on. All righty. So as you can see, folks, that was... Uh, that was uh, oh, oh, wait, and then there's one more thing we got to do. And you can see, actually... I'm not doing very well, but I'm about to score some more points. Hooray, because I'm going to save some lives. All right, first of all, Yetis. Oh, almost into the afternoon. Don't worry. We'll it's not on my watch, Yetis. So um, my um, starting doctor can cure greens. So let's go ahead and have you and put two greens there. Hooray, Yetis is saved. -de -doo 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 -doo. And um, right, these people, this person just needs one blue. Ephron. Um, okay, do it, Super Doc. One blue. -de -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Oh, shoot, folks. I forgot. Um, this is why you always watch the thing on subtitles turned on. I forgot one more thing. When you're curing people, your reputation increases based on how many people you cured. If I recall correctly, in the first round, I cured two people, which means my reputation actually increased by two more. So let's not forget that. The dummies, they don't keep track of that. So my reputation is actually on the rise. And in fact, because I just saved um, two people, it's going to rise two more. But am I done curing people? Let's see. I need three greens. I need two greens and a purple. And I've got one green here, but I do not have two green. Yeah, so I cannot cure anybody else. I'm just going to save this uh, assistant. Although I could have used this assistant and I'd have two more bucks right now. That might have been smarter. You know what? When I was paying to recruit... What's his name? This, uh, or, or your, no. Yeah, whoever I recruited. Yeah, I recruited this one. When I was paying to recruit that one, I turned this in into two bucks. So that means I have two more drachma right now for going into the future. But still, man, I only had nine, which means I couldn't buy the medicine I wanted, etc., etc. Alrighty, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. All right, so this person is going to retire now and make me four points. And, um, and my reputation has increased by two. So two, because I received two more people. I'm becoming a more well-loved doctor. There we go. Look at that. People love me now. I'm on the ups. I'm coming up. So you better get the party started. So I drop because I saved two people. And let's see here. I get two, three points, four, five, six, seven. So these flip. He's gone. I made seven points. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm still trailing at the end of the pack, but I'm catching up. There we go. There I am way back here. Is yellow. Oh dear. Okay. And I've still, and now this is a problem. This guy is becoming a thorn on my neck. I mean, I'm having to lose three drachmas every round to pay his salary, and I haven't actually used him for anybody because I did not recruit, recruit the right combination of uh, medicine plus uh, patience. But speaking of, let's bring out some more patience. And then let's see what hypocrisies... Hippocrates' assistants say. All right. You save that one. And that one. And that one. And that one. And hopefully I won't put them in the wrong columns like I did before. Where's my purple one? Where's my purple die? Oh, no. Oh, here it is. Way up here. All right. And save that one. Okay. And I am next to last in bidding. I got to wait a little bit before I can bid again. And green says, Hi. There's a 13, a 62 is probably who they're going to take. Oh no, a 69. Uh, all right, so green very happily say gets four points. One, two, three, four, and um, actually raises their rep by two, which is good because they're at the bottom of the pile now. And saved uh, Gebeb. All righty, and then red says hi. I would like a 32, a 54, a 62. Red says I will save Yuzra. Yuzra. All right, so red gets three points. One, two, three. And their rep drops. Oh, man, we're getting into a tight race for reputation up there. And then me, yellow. All right, I'm yellow. What am I going to do? All right, I would like to get more assistance. So I would like to... Well, I can't come to column two. So I want to come to column uh, four or six. But remember, if I want money... Um, as these spaces clear out, if I come to these spaces, I can make four drachmas, which I might need for the medicine I want later. But if I come over here... Let's see. That means all right, I have no assistance, so I would have I would get two green. I need green medicine. Needs green. Needs green. I need five green and one purple. I've got all the purple I need. I've got all the blue I need. It'd be ideal if this person, ah, but they still want green. But it's a gray to get green, and it'll get me my ass another assistant again, which is effectively another green or another couple of bucks. That but then I'm also at the end of the bidding order. If I come over here, I'll be at the start of the bidding order. And this one's, I mean, this one wants one of each to get four and makes five bucks. And hey, I'll get reputation point. I'll be climbing. I'll be the second most popular doctor in Greece if I climb up one more and I'll get a point and I'll get first dibs later. But I think I want my assistant more. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this. Oh, by the way, these two are closer to death. If I don't cure both of these this round, they die and I lose points. And so I am uh, putting myself in danger, but hey, I do get my assistant back. And um, I get two more green, which I need to cure all these people. And like I said, I, I can just go on ahead. Like Jen and I, we just put them over here so we just got bookkeeping where stuff is going to go. And this person needs two purples, but they need one more purple. I've got all this blue. I need to cure somebody with blue. All right. Anyway, oh, and my reputation dropped by one again. No. What am I doing? And then blue says 54, I think, right, is the highest remainder. Yep. Blue comes over here, cures this person for six. Uh, five, six, and uh, doesn't do anything else. All right, so zip, 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 zip. Show me what you got. Green, blue, purple, red, black, and aqua. All right, so I get last dibs again. Why do I keep putting myself in this situation? 60 is probably the highest number, it looks like. Yeah. So red says, hey, I'm going to stay up here. I'm going to get one point, one reputation, climbing back to the top, and four more points. One, two, three, four. All right. And then blue says, I think there's only one more. All right. So 20 or 39, blue will take 39, which gives three points. One, two, three. And drops two rep. Oh, my gosh. I'm t almost tied with blue. All right. And then green says, hi. I'll take the other one, the only other. So, uh, green uh, gets four points. One, two, three, four. And that's it. And now, here's the deal. I cannot get a patient. And I probably don't want to, because I already have three patients I have to take care of. Although, if I could get a patient that wanted nothing but blue, they would be very easy to treat. Although, I'd have to use this doctor to do it, because this one can only treat greens. So, the nice thing is, if I can get more green po or medicine, this guy could treat two people at once. This green and this green. Or this green and this green. 
Oh, by the way, yeah, I need one more green or this person dies. I, I, I need three green. How do I get three green? Well, the problem is, here's how I get three green. Dropping my, um, but I didn't roll this. So I might need to be thinking about, hey, there's green up here. I could buy three green for eight bucks. So if I just set aside eight drachmas and I just try to make some money right now, right now I've got five coming in and I've got two doctors. So that's going to lose me six. So that means I'm short one, which means I have enough to buy this medicine. And that's the green I need to cure both of these people with this doctor. So this doctor buying that medicine could cure both of these. So anything else I do is, is bonus stuff I've got. The, you know, he's taking care of them with this money. Because uh, I've got, I got all my um, salaries covered and whatnot, I think, if I added it up correctly. But I might not have. But that's the thing. If I'm low on cash, I could say, hey, I'm going to come over here and um, get myself four drachmas because there's nobody here. Or I could come over here, get only two drachmas, but oh, I've already got this. Or no, no, come over here and give myself two drachmas plus the vertical assistant, which is uh, another blue potion or two bucks or the ability to shift around. Or I could come over here, get two drachmas and get that assistant and be cl um, higher up on the uh, third. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to take the left to right assistant, which is probably going to be two bucks, or another purple, because it just so happens I need one more purple up here. So this could be the other purple I need. And um, and I get a, a quicker, and I get two drachmas. All right. So that was the second uh, bid. And now we do one more. All righty. Uh, light blue three, blue two, red two, purple one. All right. And red says hi. That's a 35, a 14. Right, so red says, I'm just going to stay right here and get four points. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to get one more point and increase my rep by one. Cursed red, you're too fancy pants. And now, this is it. I can get the rest. I Now, I can come over here, drop my reputation again, although it'll still be in the uh, medium range, and I'll get the other three, which means I don't need the eight bucks to buy that three. Which means I could use my... I, I think I'm going to. Yes. I'm going to say, Stratton, don't worry. Help is on the way. And that gives me three more green. One, two, three. And dropping two. Oh, I'm almost in last place on reputation again. So there we go. And then um, blue says hi. Do I want 35? Yes, I do. And that gives blue two points. And no reputation hit. And then green says hi. Do I want 14 or nine? I think I'll take 14. And that gives three points, but one drop in rep. One, two, three. Okay, boom. And so we have finished our, our next round. And so once again, it's time. Let's see, I make nine drachmas off these two. And now I owe six. So there goes six. Okay. And then, um, again, looking at who is the most popular doctor, red says, oh, I want you. Blue says, oh, I want you. Oh, and oops, what did they want? Um, red scored two points for that. And blue scored one. Yeah, blue scored one. Red scored two. And now I'm in third place, so I could reserve these. This person cures only purple and will only do it once. If I can have this person work on a purple, I'll, I'm turning four bucks into four points. That's a good return. But this one wants purple green. And this one by himself could uh, cure this. So I've got to decide, am I going to put two bucks down? Remembering that this could be the third purple I need. This could be the third green I need. Here's the three greens I need over here. So all my medical needs are taken care of. This person can wait. I just need doctors. So that does make this pretty attractive. Oh, and I've still got money. Do I've got uh, 14. Could I actually get a bundle? Well, I don't know because I don't know how much these are going to cost. It's unlikely, though. I mean, I could get lucky, and this might be a, a, a four doctor plus two. That means I could buy both of these and get this bonus as well. Interesting. So I've got to decide, am I going to reserve this? Because he, by himself, could cure this person, but he does cost seven. And, um, you know, let's see, that's a purple green. I mean, I could get this one instead, and maybe this is going to be cheaper. Maybe this is the better one, but will I get first dibs on it? Because I've got two people ahead of me in the dibs who might grab that. 
That is interesting. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but I am going to stop right there, folks. So I think that should give you a pretty good idea of how Hippocrates plays. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 